How did you feel when someone offered you forgiveness? Did you experience joy and peace of heart? Brothers and sisters, I guess most of us were excited and relieved after hearing someone saying to us, I forgive you, because we knew that we were able to start a new chapter in our life. The second Sunday of Easter is dedicated to God's mercy. The Divine Mercy devotion was promoted by a nun, Faustina Kowalska. Sister Faustina lived and died in Poland before the Second World War. She was canonized by Pope John Paul II on the 30th of April 2000 on the second Sunday of Easter. Jesus Christ appeared to Sister Faustina many times and revealed to her his Divine Mercy message for the world. For example, he told her these words, Paint an image according to the pattern you see with the signature, Jesus, I trust in you. I desire that this image be venerated first in your chapel and then throughout the world. I promise that the soul that will venerate this image will not perish. I also promise victory over its enemies already here on earth, especially at the hour of death. I myself will defend it as my own glory. I want this image to be solemnly blessed on the first Sunday after Easter. That Sunday is to be the Feast of Mercy. On that day, the depths of my mercy will be open to all. My daughter, encourage souls to save the chaplet which I have given to you. My dear friends, in the Gospel according to St. Luke, Jesus said, Be merciful just as your Father is merciful. He has given us a beautiful devotion to the Divine Mercy. He wants us to accept it and to share our mercy with those around us. It means to be prepared to offer forgiveness and love despite all the difficulties and sufferings involved in the manifestation of our mercy and love for others. Of course, Jesus wants us to love one another. However, we cannot truly love others unless we forgive and become merciful. The Lord says that we must forgive 70 times 7, which means always. So, today's feast reminds us about the necessity of being forgiven people if we want to call ourselves Christians. The prayer given to Sister Faustina and to each one of us, which is called the Chaplet of Divine Mercy, will help us to be merciful people of God. I encourage you to pray it daily. Let me conclude this short reflection with St. Matthew's words. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy.